Welcome to researchandanalysis.com. In our last video, we covered modulation analysis through traditional method of Barron and Kenny. In today's video, we will discuss how to run the modulation analysis using process macro, which is recommended by Preacher and Hayes. How we run the analysis and how to find the results. So this is all we will discuss in today's uh, video. For our modulation analysis, first of all, we develop a uh, modulation model through extensive literature review and theoretical underpinning. When we are interested in moderation, it means that we are interested to examine the circumstances where and when our independent variable affect our dependent variable. A moderator is a variable that makes changes in the strength or the direction of the relationship between our independent variable and dependent variable. So here you can see this is the conceptual model and this is the statistical model. Uh, this is how actually we uh, we have graphical presentation of our moderator. This is our IV independent variable, this is dependent variable and here it is moderator and this is how we actually examine the role of moderator between our IV and DV. So here this is path A then moderator to uh, our DV it's path B and finally the impact of interaction term on our dependent variable. In today's video, we will discuss the impact of CSR on perceived organizational support and how this relationship will be influenced by our moderator job in security. So we will be interested in three paths. First of all, the impact of CSR on perceived organizational support, the impact of job insecurity, which is our moderator, and its impact on perceived organizational support, and finally, the impact of interaction term on perceived organizational support. So let's start with the analysis. So this is the data we have. In order to proceed with the analysis, we need to have the averages of all of our three variables, CSR, perceived organizational support, and job insecurity. So how we will calculate the averages? Just go to transform, click compute variable and here you can write first of all CSR Since we have five items of CSR, so we will divide it by, sorry, it should be here after closing the bracket. So first average have been created. Now we need to calculate the average of our second variable, which is here perceived organizational support which is our dependent variable. Sorry. Since we have eight items, so we will divide it by eight. So our second variable have been created. Now we need to create our last variable, which is job insecurity. Since we have six items, so we will divide it by six. 
So now we have the averages of all of our three variables and now we are ready to proceed with modation analysis. So what we will do just go to analyze and here just click the option of a regression and from here we need to click process. So this is very important. Uh, this is actually an extension of SPSS which you can uh, download for free from their website and just click it and here uh, first of all we need to put our uh, independent variable in x variable here because x is representing our i independent variable then we need to put our dependent variable and finally we will put our moderator here in order to run the moderation make sure that we have model number one if you remember that when we run the mediation we use model four but in running the moderation we need to put to use model number one from options we can we should we can click just yes this is what uh, we may need to draw our moderator graph okay then okay all right yes this is what we need all variable that define the products and from here we can put p is less than 0 0.05 which is most of the time we use the confidence level p less than 0 0.05 95 percent of confidence interval okay so this from here you can select different options maybe you can click just four and just continue and finally you are proceed with ok and from here you can change confidence interval and from also you can change the bootstrap sample for example 500,000, 1000 whatever so here we are selecting 5000 just ok So this is what we were interested. If you remember the statistical model in which first of all this is path A, the impact of CSR on POS which is significant. Then the impact of moderator on dependent variable which was represented as path B. So here you can see it is also significant. And finally, we are interested to examine if the interaction term is significant or not. So from here, you can see, yes, it is significant since p-value is less than 0 0.05. Moreover, we, have, we do not have any zero between our intervals. Although in order to examine the role of moderator, we rely on the significance of interaction term only. So if, if, it, if it is significant then we can proceed or we can conclude that the, our, this variable is actually uh, moderate the relationship between our independent and independent variable. And here you can see the coefficient sign is minus so it shows that uh, under the moderating role of job in security the impact of CSR on perceived organizational support will be weaker. And these are the covariance matrix of regression. Um, this is what you can use to draw or if you need to draw a moderator graph, which you can draw by using these values. Um, finally, we might be interested in the conditional effect of focal predictors at the values of the moderator. So here are given three levels. And here you can see when job insecurity is low, the effect the you can say the impact of iv on dv was 0.6404 which was significant and when job insecurity was high the effect also get decreased and it become 
0.3107 do it is still significant but impact is uh, decreased substantially decreased from 0.6404 to 0.3101 so this is all uh, about how to run the modulation analysis using process macro. I hope you understand all the steps. If you will have any further question, you can write it in the comments. Thanks for watching.